Okay. Does everything look? All right, sweet. All right, hey guys, this is Gary Pope from Late to the Table. Um, so what this is, this is a vlog in which I might be doing these every once in a while, and these will just be completely unedited um, talks that I'm going to be basically doing uh, about random things that are going on, maybe little updates here and there. They're not going to be on a weekly basis or anything like that. Uh, I don't even have a set schedule for these. Odds are they'll probably be like once a month or something like that. Basically, whenever I find anything that's interesting to talk about or bring up or anything that's new with the channel, I'll bring it up and um, I'll basically be doing one of these. Uh, essentially, this might eventually become Q&A sessions where I'll be having all of this live and um, uh, basically I'll be answering questions or whatever. We'll see what happens. But um, why am I doing this today? The main number one reason is that uh, I have actually some really good, great new news, and that is that I am actually now officially sponsored. I'm sponsored by um, Top Shelf Games, and uh, what is it? I always get mixed up with their last. Is, is it Top Shelf, Shelf Gaming? Top Shelf Games? Top Shelf Gamer? Well, let's see. Top Shelf Gamer. Okay, sorry about that. But yeah, I'm now officially sponsored by Top Shelf Gamer. Now, um, before people start raising their pitchforks or whatever in terms of being like, oh, now his reviews on items and upgrades and tips and tricks are all going to be centered around top shelf gamer items and uh, they lose all value. There's nothing good that's going to be coming out of my mouth anymore except for just good things about them. Uh, some things is that here's the thing. Uh, my sponsorship is actually not going to affect that at all. I'm actually still going to be doing a lot of items that I see on Amazon. I'm still going to be suggesting to go to your stores. And I would actually would always suggest going to your local stores if you can, because odds are you're probably going to be finding them even possibly cheaper than Amazon. I'm hearing people tell me deals every day where if you go to Michael's or Joann's or some sort of hobby store near you, you're always going to get like a 20 to 40% deal off on your local stores. But anyways, besides all that, um... Uh, a couple things about the whole sponsorship is that one, I approach them. Um, and the reason why I approach them is because uh, if you ever check out their website, they have a ton of stuff that are right along the lines of what this channel is about, which is um, little tips, tricks, little things you can use, little items you can use to uh, make your gaming experience better and uh, to quicken things up, clean up stuff and what have you. And their website is by far actually, and the funny thing is I've actually, I actually did some research before I reached out to them. If I'm not mistaken, this is not because I'm sponsored by them now. But their site, if I'm not mistaken, is by far the best site for those sorts of things. Um, I've checked out a bunch of other sites. I'm not going to name names. But um, they have a certain category of things or they have a certain amount of things. Um, it's, it's, in other words, if I was to get sponsored by other sites, I wouldn't have had enough content to last a while doing it. I would probably run out of things to uh, like pitch or show you guys after maybe like a couple months and then after that I'll be going right back to relying 100% on Amazon um, or other local stores or what have you. Um, so that's one of the reasons why they're going to be, I, I've, I've like, for example, I made a wish list and this is just me going through the website. Like I think it was one day uh, at work and I was just, yeah, at work. Um, and I was just like, how many things can I look at right off the top of my head that would be super useful to make a video off of. And of course, I can't figure out my stupid login credentials. Uh, am I that stupid? Okay, there it is. Okay, so I made a wish list. And this wish list, I've already, within day one, I've made two pages worth of wish list, which each page has about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 items on it. So that's 20 items. If I made a video every single week, that's half a year. So there's plenty of things on that site in which I could go ahead and use. And that's just off of their website. That's not even me thinking about Amazon and local stores and stuff like that. And, and also a lot of these things are quick videos. They're not even like things that constitute longer videos, like other stuff that I could do like bags and what have you. Um, so that's one of the reasons they have a ton of items Two, um, they have very good competing prices. Um, so like everything there, like I've looked at other sites, I like compared to other sites and they're either the exact same price or I would, I would say if any, if there is any difference, they might, they might charge a tiny bit more in shipping, but they have free shipping options 
And I think their bigger items actually have cheaper shipping than other sites, bigger items. I'd have to double check that, but I'm pretty sure that was the case when I looked at it. Um, two, I've actually used several of their items before, um, before even knowing that I was going to ask them for a sponsorship. And uh, friends brought, like, I checked out friends' items and stuff like that. And I was just like, oh, man, where'd you get this? And they told me about the site. So I've known about the site for a few months now. I've bought a couple things off of it. And um, so I've already known that the quality that they have there and the items that they have there are really cool and really neat. And it's one of those things where it's like a friend told me about it. It's not like I was hunting them down and I stumbled upon it. It's like, no, someone brought this to me and said, oh, you should check out this site. So this is like, this is not just something from me that I think is really cool. It's like, this is a site that's known to have good stuff. Um, and uh, the last reason why I reached out to them in particular for a sponsorship is that, um, actually this is not even particular with Top Shelf Gamer, but this is just with this, uh, the page, the, the, the YouTube channel in general, is that um, it's, it's not cheap doing this sort of things. And um, it's not to say that I don't have an interest in it and I wouldn't be getting some of these things anyways, but let's uh, let's use an example as, um, let's use the bag video, for example. I made a video, I'm not sure if you knew the channel or what have you, but it was like the two months ago, one of my first videos uh, when I started actually making weekly videos was I made a video about five bags to get. Um, and those five bags, I was not sponsored for those videos. And I actually, I only, before I made that video, I only owned one of those bags beforehand. One of the other bags I've used a good amount, like I borrowed it. Um, that was the Ikea bag in particular. And the other bags, I literally hunted those bags down. I went on forums, I went on Reddit, saw other people's videos. And um, I basically just like, oh, okay, so out of the consensus of what I can see here, these are the five bags I'm going to go with. I'm going to get all five of these bags. I'm going to check them all out, and I'm going to do a review. Um, and also just to note that those are actually technically seven bags, but some of them didn't work out. So um, at the end of it all, I actually spent roughly about 100 bucks getting all of those bags, and I didn't do the whole buy them, return them sort of thing. I still have all of those bags, and they're all still actually in circulation of how I use them. But at the end of the day, I didn't need five bags. Um, I actually don't need any bags of anything. I already had bags before I even started that video. Um, I still have all of those bags. So it's like if you think of something like that where I make a video, um, I spent a hundred bucks making that video for getting all of those bags. I actually didn't even give all those bags out or said, hey, if I buy this bag, will you take it or whatever? Um, so I still have all of those bags. And to do something like that where I'm getting a whole bunch of items and I'd like to basically share the like the information with you guys so you guys can be informed, it's a little bit co costly. So getting a sponsorship helps basically dramatically lower that cost. It dramatically helps out the channel. Um, and it's basically, it works two, both ways for me and the sponsor. I get to get, uh, I'm not even... I, actually, I'm not even exactly sure what the contract agreements in terms of what I can say in terms of like how that's working out, but I'm just going to put it out there that um, it allows me to get items a lot easier. It allows me to get items. Uh, it allows me to have access to more items without me having to basically make another video like that where I'm shelling out a hundred bucks to make a video. Um, and at the end of the day, uh, all I'm getting is views. Um, and that's uh, also just to put this out there. Um, I've actually more uh, recently put on, uh, ads on my videos as well. And um, though that's just basically, I guess the best way to put it is that you're not, you're not making that much money on YouTube, uh, especially at the amount of views that I'm getting. So this is less in terms of me uh, making back money for uh, uh, the content that I'm putting out. It's more of like, I guess you could say it's like a rainy day money or like I'm putting into a savings, maybe like after like a couple years, I could buy like a something or whatever. Like I can even tell you the guys the number because this is my own information. So I could tell you this. I, this is nothing to do with sponsorships or anything. The total amount I've made off of YouTube ads alone, just YouTube ads alone is... I could get you the exact number by it. It's under three bucks. So I know that off the top of my head, it's under $3 total. And I have almost 20,000 views. I'm at 17,000 views at this point. And, uh, uh, in terms of ads, it's only made under three bucks. So it's like there, I'm not making a ton of money doing this. This is more of just like me doing this for fun. Literally. Like I enjoy doing these things. I enjoy learning a lot of things while I'm doing this. And I had a blast learning how to make videos. 
um, and learning how to do programs. I like learning how to do things every day, so that I find this sort of things entertaining. Um, so that's how much I made off YouTube ads. ads. Now, in terms of the Amazon sales, that's a little bit, that's actually a much better number, but it's still nothing crazy. Uh, the total amount of sales I've made since I've started these videos is, I think it's only like 20 bucks. No way that's correct. One second, that's definitely not a correct number. It's saying like 10 bucks. I'm like, it's not 10 bucks. Um, come on, you stupid thing. Yeah, this is a great video, by the way. Um, no way. Oh, okay, there, it, it updated. Okay, so the total amount of money I made on YouTube from Amazon, uh, because I post uh, uh, re ref referral links, I guess is the way to put it. I post referral links in every single one of my videos when I'm uh, showing you guys something and I made $23 off of that total. So so total money I've made off of YouTube so far, I've made $26 rounding up actually. And on total products that I've bought, I've spent easily in the hundreds, I think. Like I spent a hundred for the bag video. I spent, um, I spent like 60 for the paint video. What other videos have I made? I have like the, the business card holders, another $10. I have other videos coming out in the future, which are more. And this is the thing is like, uh, uh, with all these items that I'm showing you guys, these are some of these I actually use on a daily basis. I'm going to be making like a storage container uh, video soon. And that one I actually am just now recently starting to get into. And as I was getting into, I was like, oh, why not make a video for this? Um, the painting one, I already kind of was semi getting into, but I bought extra supplies so that then I can um, show you guys some different examples. And um, uh, the business card holders, that's a cool idea, except I don't utilize it all the time because most of the time while I'm playing games, I'm at a game store and I don't think to get my business card holder and bring it over to the game store. But if I'm at home, I'll pull it out and use it. Um, and there's a bunch of other things. Um, so it's not like I'm using all of these tips I'm giving you guys. So it's like, at the end of the day, am I spending this money for things I would already have or already be using? For about a good half of them, I'd say no. Um, so this is more literally just creating content and making this interesting for you guys so you guys can actually see it um, in comparison to everything else and see how it's used. And um, hopefully that helps you guys get a better... Uh, idea of how that item is um so besides that so let's uh move on to the next thing because that's uh i guess that's everything i kind of want to address about the sponsorship so once again um sponsored by top shelf gamer it's not oh yeah one last thing before i forget i actually almost forgot um i'm not going to say everything now send email but i want to state one thing that was sent in the email that i found very important and uh, there was one particular question I asked uh, regarding the sponsorship was, I'm going to be paraphrasing this because I don't want to say the exact things in the conversation, but um, uh, basically I asked the question uh, along the lines of, am I basically, can I criticize the products how I want it? Um, basically, if I get an item or if I'm reviewing several products, and I'm comparing them just like how I did in other videos. Can I criticize it exactly how I want? Now, the reason why I asked that question is because if they responded back to me and said, um, no, we would like to only keep it, keep it positive. Or if they said basically any along, thing along the lines of uh, um, we want you to sway your answer or avoid saying negative things. Or literally, if they just said anything along the lines of that, like you can't say negative things about this product or avoid it or reworded or anything along the lines of that, I would have dropped the sponsorship. I wouldn't have bothered with it and I would have moved on. Um, I don't even know if I would have went on to another company to get a sponsorship for a while because they were like really my number one prospect and I wasn't really interested in a lot of other companies at the moment. Um, and they basically, I'll paraphrase this, I won't say exactly what they said, but they basically said, yeah. <laughs> it's basically, and they went on a little bit about basically like how important the truth is and how important um, uh, criticizing things, how it is, 
is uh, very important for not only for the product itself, but for the gaming industry in total. Um, and they, they're basically all for it. They're all for me being as critical as I want. So if I want to say, like, if I get an item from them and I'm comparing it to other items, I'm just like, this item, you could get the same thing cheaper on Amazon. Odds are I wouldn't even probably bring that item into the conversation. But I guess you guys get the meaning of what I'm saying is that I can be as critical as I want of these products. But I'll say this. So if I'm bringing up getting a product from them and I'm even before I even buy the product or get the product or anything like that, I'm usually doing um, I'm usually uh, going to analyze it and check it out and do my uh, do my due diligence on the item before I even get it. Then when I get the item t uh, here, odds are if it's junk, I'm not even going to put it in front of the camera. I'm not even going to bother. It's not even worth the time for you me to address to you guys. I'll be addressing you guys to the better items. Um, so, I mean, in that stance, you guys, if there's something that's really that bad, you guys won't, I won't even bring attention to it. It's not even worth it. Um, but if it's good or if it's solid, but like there might be things you might like and things you might not like, or this might be perfect for a certain kind of person, I'll make a video of it and I'll be giving you guys the exact numbers and all the important information you guys need for it. So, now that is the final thing I want to say about uh, this whole sponsorship thing. So, once again, thank you Top Shelf Gamer for the sponsorship. It's uh, going to be, this is very important for the channel. It's something that was, um, I wouldn't say it was uh, desperately needed, but it was, it's very well appreciated. You guys have no idea how well appreciated it is. Um, but anyways, on to the next thing. Um, actually, I don't have really a curriculum of things I'm going to be talking about, but um, I guess uh, this week, uh, well, actually, I noticed one thing on YouTube the other day, actually yesterday, on the new Board Game Breakfast, in which someone thought I was only going to be around for like a couple episodes, now it's gone. Just to address that, um, no, I'm not going to be around for a little bit. Board Game Breakfast is something that I'm looking forward to being on for the foreseeable future. In terms of consistently doing what should I get, as far as I'm aware, that's basically what I'm going to be doing on a weekly basis there. I can't really think of anything else at the moment that I would do on a weekly basis that will be, uh, I guess you could say, it's different. Um, it's it's helpful, I guess. It's, it's, uh, it's not exactly helpful to that person who made the post, but just be aware that the people that are writing the post up, I'm actually usually always responding to those posts in a written form, and then I make the video afterwards. So they're getting their information when they ask, and then they might see it online like a week later or whatever. But um, but in terms of that, it's like the best thing I can think of for the time being. If I could think of anything else to do in the future, I might switch over. Um, Tom's actually be pretty, Tom's pretty actually chill about all like whatever, I wouldn't say whatever they're, uh, um, uh, what's the word? Uh, whatever they are, uh, the people that submit videos, whatever. He's pretty, uh, chill about what people can do as long as like the content's interesting and um it's on time it fits his criteria and everything like that i wouldn't say you could do whatever you want but it's more of like long as like if i wanted to change it to something else in the future he wouldn't have a problem with that as long as it wasn't a problem um so that's board game breakfast uh things that are going new on this channel uh I guess some things I could say about is maybe some things like you may be looking forward to in future videos. Um, I literally have a backlog of videos that I can be putting out. It's just that uh, I like to be consistent having them coming out on a weekly basis. Uh, for the time being, I'd like to do it so I can have one video on a weekly basis uh, besides the whole board game breakfast thing because I just want to be consistent for the time being. And then when I get really comfortable and when I get really into a groove of things, that might be producing two to three videos a week. There was a point in time where I was trying to do that for a very brief amount of time. And um, I don't know, life just caught up with me. So uh, some things to look forward in the future is what What are some things? I know I'm going to be making a coins, like a, basically a money. I'm going to be making actually a couple videos about money. Uh, one of them is going to be about metal coins. I literally have one product for that. So that's going to be Express One. Um, I'm going to be doing a uh, game election. That's I think I mentioned that one even on YouTube before. I'm going to be doing bags. Well, not bags, but like little uh, like chits bags or whatever. Um, holders. Uh, what else? 
I made a video about my photo container where it shows what games I have in it and what why they're in there, except there's two problems with that video. And like I said, I'm backlogged on videos. I made this video a month ago, and not only there's two problems with the video I made a month ago because I'm like try I don't want to put out bad quality things. Uh, I forgot to fix the white balance on the video, so it's all grayed out. It looks like I'm in a horror film. And then the second problem is that since this was like a month ago, I didn't have a haircut a month ago. So it's going to be a whole bunch, like literally a month's worth of videos with me with a haircut, and then all of a sudden I'm back to not having a haircut. And uh, so that's uh, kind of awkward. So I might redo that video. But um, yeah, I know, allergy season right now. Oh, I have a review coming out. I don't want to say the name of the game, but uh, I will I will say this. This is not a spoiler, but it's not a new game at all. And the reason why I'm making this uh, review is I remember when I was first trying to get this game and I first wanted this game, this game lacked reviews. And for such a popular game, I'm surprised it seriously lacked reviews. So I guess that'll be the only clues I'll leave out of what the game is. And um, basically what I use this review as for, what this review for is that um, I'm going to be doing reviews every once in a while. They're not going to be super often. They're actually going to be very unoff. Like I'd say, I'd say if you see me making a review video once a month, then that's me being really good at like really like on top of making reviews because the thing I'm doing with all these review videos is I'm doing something a little bit different than what most people do with reviews, um, which if you haven't noticed so far in this, my entire YouTube channel, I don't want to do things that other people are doing. Like, uh, and this is no offense to other channels at all. This is no offense. It's just that when I do things, I kind of want to do it. Like I want to try different things. I don't want to fall down the same street that everyone else is. on. I want to try, like, I want to make myself stand out like Rodney Smith. When he put out his videos, he was like, no one's doing uh, how to play videos and being super, super concise and super, super on the point about all of the rules and basically nailing it. So I want to do something. I want to provide a service like that. And that this is basically what I'm going with. So when I'm doing reviews, I want to make them different. Um, so the way I'm doing reviews is that I'm not reviewing the games at all. Uh, the only time you're ever going to hear me talk in a video is, is if anything needs to be described in the video. If the rules need to be described, I'm actually going to be describing the rules and running you guys to the rules. But that's about it. Besides that, I'm not reviewing the game at all. I'm I don't even I'm not even sure if I even want to have my say in the review at all. Um, because what I want to do with my reviews is I want to get a large group of people and I want them to review the game. Uh, the more the merrier, but I want a large group of people and I want to get their overall consensus of the game. Um, and that's basically how I want to do reviews. Like for this uh, review right here, I've already recruit, uh, not recruited, reviewed, I already had them play the game and I've gotten all of their words about it and I've gotten their consensus about it. And um, all I need to do really is do the how to play part of it and then the review's done essentially. So uh, that's how I want to do reviews. So um, that's why I'm going along the lines of this. And uh, if you're actually interested in participating in these reviews, uh, there's two ways you could go about doing it. Um, actually, the, technically, I guess three ways. One, if you happen to be in the Connecticut area, uh, I have a meetup group that I run. It's called Meetup Duck. I don't run a group, actually. I'm the second person in charge. Uh, but there's a website called meetup.com. Uh, I'm sure if you have been interested in joining any sort of game group, you've probably looked into this, but if not, you just go to meetup.com. I've actually made an entire video about this. Um, and then in, in my local area, there's a game group called Game On Chits and Giggles. It's supposed to be a play on words, as you can tell, but uh, it's C-H-I-T-S and Giggles. Um, so you join that, um, reach out to me. Also, just as a, like a heads up, I'm also perfectly willing to accept any Facebook requests. If you hit me up on Twitter, um, Instagram, anything, I'm basically an open book. So if you want to reach out to me, you can feel free to reach out to me in any of those ways. Um, so uh, I would say right now, Facebook, you can reach me at Gary Gerber Pope. <laughs> That's literally what my username is. I actually probably should change that to like wait to the table. The reason why it's Gare Bear is Gare Bear used to be a nickname of mine growing up. It's one of the many nicknames I've had growing up. And not only is it one of the many nicknames I've had before 
a few years ago, I was a DJ, and that was actually my DJ name. I was DJ Gare Bear. Look me up. I had a lot of YouTube stuff. I made mashups. So, um, uh, yeah, so you can hit me up there. I think if you go want to do a Facebook URL, it's facebook.com forward slash DJ Gare Bear. All one word, and that should actually go straight to my personal page. Friend me there. Add me on Twitter. That's official L-T-T-T on Twitter. Uh, Instagram is the exact same way. You can email me. I have all this information in the description below. Or you can like my page or whatever and hit me up there as well. Um, but besides that, on Meetup, uh, uh, what I'm thinking about doing is maybe occasionally seeing if I could gather up people to review a game. Um, if I have anything in particular, I'll grab people and review them. I don't want to review a game unless I have at least eight people. Ideally, I like to have 15 to 20 people do a review on a game. And even in a... I have future plans for the channel. In a perfect world, I'll be I'll have like a hundred people doing the review. That's in a perfect world. That's like when things are getting crazy. That's like the, that's a goal. That's a dream. Which if that ever happens, then I'm happy at that point. Um, so, anyways, uh, so that's the ways. If you're interested in number, uh, in it, in order, like start over. That's one way you can actually uh, reach out to me if you're interested in being in one of the reviews. Uh, the other two ways is I'm going to be running actually at least two reviews most likely at the Dice Tower Con. So if you're going to be in the Dice Tower Con this year, that is the week of July 5th to the 9th if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to be running a review. I actually, if I'm not mistaken, my first review, I actually have all this on Board Game Geek. Because if you're on Board Game Geek, uh, you should check out the geek list it's the dice tower con one and i'm trying to see if i can find it right now <gasps> and uh, where is it yeah it's called dice tower con 2007 board game scheduling and meetup list um i have two games on there it goes through all the details what i'm going to be doing the two games are going to be instant this is not a spoiler at all saying what these games are but these games are going to be insider and the other one is one night ultimate alien uh so if you want to sign up, sign up there, and uh, if you're going to Dice Tower Con, and I could go ahead and get you in there. Um, I think the Insider one is almost full at this point, but there is a waiting list. Uh, I think I have like up to 20 people that said for that one, and yeah, it's, okay, it's not full yet. It's at, I said 20 people, and it's at 17, 16 right now. Um, and then the one night ultimate where if I just posted that the other day, so that one's only at like two or something like that out of eight people. And the only reason why it's only eight people is because I have only one copy of the game. So, uh, I'd like to make that one as easy as possible. If I could get another copy, I might add more people. Um, so anyways, that's the second way. The third way is, is that none of this is all planned. I have no idea what games would be playing. I'm not even sure if I can hundred percent do it, but I'm pretty sure I can do it is I'm going to be doing reviews at PAX Unplugged. That's not until November 17th through the 19th, if I'm not mistaken. So I'll be doing reviews there. I don't know any of the details about that place. I don't even know the floor plan, so I can't exactly plan anything yet. But um, that's in the aforementioned future, and there's plenty of time for that one. There'll also be other ways, probably more ways to do reviews, but there's that. Um, so that's the, I guess you can see the, say the, nearby future like the close future of things that are coming up with the channel more items more stuff more board game breakfast and reviews um what else is there to talk about uh i'm trying to think because i think i'm running at the end of the point i actually have no idea how long this video has been going for i've been talking for 28 minutes so i actually probably should be wrapping this up at this point because i've just been rambling but um I'm just trying to double check real quick before I send you guys off. But yeah. Um Yeah, that's basically it for the time being. If I could think of anything else, I might put it in the comments or in um the description or something like that. I feel like there is definitely something I am forgetting about, but whatever. I'll save that for the next vlog, I guess, or something. But um anyways, guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and uh, yeah, I guess I'll catch you guys next time. This is Gary Pope from Late to the Table. Peace. See you. Thanks for watching Late to the Table. This episode was brought to you by my go-to place for upgrades and accessories for your favorite tabletop games, Top Shelf Gamer.